Today, we're going to talk about how to track your form conversion sources in Google Analytics so you can know which marketing campaigns or referral websites are driving the most leads. So let's get started. Tracking form conversions can be tedious and time-consuming because every time you publish a lead generation form, you'll need to configure a goal on your analytics account and then place an extra tracking code on your site. But the easiest way to set up form conversion tracking is by using Monster Insights. It'll automatically track all your form conversions as events, and you won't have to do any coding or setting up any goals in analytics. All you have to do is install and activate the Monster Insights Forms add-on. It works right out of the box with any contact form plugin, and you won't need to configure anything on your analytics account. Now, after you've installed Monster Insights and it's connected with Google Analytics, go to your admin sidebar and hover your mouse over Insights, and then click on Add-ons and install the Forms add-on. Now, once the plugin's installed and you've activated it, it's ready to use. Monster Insights will now automatically start recording data about your forms, and you can view that data by going to Insights and then Reports, and finally to the Forms tab where you'll see your form's impressions, conversions, and conversion rate. If you'd like more information about how to track your form conversions, be sure to check out the link that we've left in the description. Now that you've set up form conversion tracking, let's see which sources are driving the most leads to your site. Now, while Monster Insights will show you how your forms are performing and which ones are converting the best, you'll need to go to your analytics account to find out where your leads are coming from. So log into your analytics account, and then on the left side, go to Behavior, then Events, and then Top Events. Now, here you'll see your forms has an event category, so click on Form. Next, you'll see an event action and the total impressions and conversions. So since we want to view the source, we'll need to click on Conversions. Once you're there, you'll see all the forms that were submitted by your visitors. So click on the form that you're interested in finding the source for, and click on the Secondary Dimension drop-down menu and select Source Medium. Now the option is available under Acquisition, but you can also type in Source Medium in the search bar. Now this is going to show you all the sources like Google Organic, where visitors came from and completed your form. And you can go a step further by using an advanced filter to break down your data even more. So for example, if you're only interested in traffic that other websites are sending you, then you can use an advanced filter. Now to do that, click on Advanced next to the search bar, and then select Include, Source Medium, and then Containing, and then enter Referral in the last field. Now once you've entered these details, click Apply, and the filter will now only display referral sources for your completed forms. Another way of tracking your form conversion sources is using WP Forms. Its User Journey add-on records the path a visitor takes before submitting a form on your site. To start, you'll need to install and activate the add-on from WP Forms. Just make sure you're using the Pro or Higher plan to access the add-on and view the reports. And once you've installed and activated the plugin, you'll need to navigate to the User Journey add-on and click Install Add-on. Now, once the add-on is active, just go to WP Forms, then Entries, and then select the form that you want to see the journey for. After that, you'll see a list of entries for your form, so click the View button for any user and see the journey that they took before submitting the form. Next, scroll down to User Journey and view the steps a visitor took on your site. The report shows which pages a user visited, its date, time, and duration. And if you click on the info icon, WP Forms will show the URL parameter of the page a visitor used. You can even open that page by clicking the Open Window in a New Tab icon. You can use all that data to find new partnership opportunities with sites that are sending you visitors that are completing your forms and perhaps strike a deal to generate even more traffic. Or you can use this information to identify the best channels to promote your campaigns and adjust your marketing budget accordingly to get the best results. With Monster Insights, you get the stats that matter. So see why it's used by over 3 million websites and be sure to check out the special discount by visiting the link in the description. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials, explainers, and helpful content like this. We'll see you next time.